The federal government says it cannot resume the suspended Abuja Kaduna train operation now because it will be insensitive to the plight of train attack victims whose family members are still in captivity. The Minister of Transportation, Moazu Sambo, said this while addressing state house correspondents after the Federal Executive Council meeting presided over by President Mohamedou Buhari on Wednesday in Abuja. The minister added that the government is still investigating the right type of surveillance equipment to procure in order to effectively monitor the tracks along the Abuja Kaduna route as well as concessioning it in a public private partnership agreement arrangement. In March, terrorists attacked the Kaduna bound train and abducted some passengers while some victims have been released, others are still in captivity. Following the attack, the Nigeria Railway Corporation suspended train service on the rail corridor. There are two core matters at the heart of the resumption of um, the Abuja Kaduna rail services. And these core issues are one, families are traumatized over their loved ones that are still in captivity. Two, we need to have a surveillance and monitoring system on the rail track that would ensure that such incidents never happen again. So we are pursuing these two things at the same time, trying to get the victims of the kidnap released and at the same time looking for the best solution in terms of surveillance. We are looking at so many so options. We want to go for the best one, a sustainable one. And don't forget, ultimately, whatever we have as a template between Abuja and Kaduna that succeeds would also serve the thousands of kilometers of rail lines across the country.